Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for February. So this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are just going to see whatever comes up. This is for at any time in February. Keep in mind that this is not a private reading and it may not resonate at all. It may or it may not. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. You may be deciding to go your own way, you know, you may. You may be deciding to go your own way, to turn your back on a relationship, right? I mean, it doesn't really get much clearer than that, does it? If somebody is turning their back on a partnership to, you know, go within. That's what the hermit does goes within. It's a time of introspection. It's a time of solitude. It's a time of stillness. I have to step back and focus right now. I have to focus on myself. I need to figure out where I'm going, what I'm doing, who I am. And you know, in order to do that, you know, I'm not sure that I can focus on any kind of union at this time because right now I need to take a time out and reflect. I need to reflect and become aware of who, what, when, where, the all of it. So I think that's what we got going on here. Justice, yeah. And you know, that's the sword that cuts. The truth hurts. But this is acting with integrity. It's making the final decision. Because you're seeking balance in your life. So it looks to me as though you guys are making some sort of fair and just decision that is best for yourself. I've got to do what's right for me. And if that involves hurting another person unfortunately it's not like you want to do that you have to you have to be true to yourself you have to be authentic with who you are and that's where you're at right yeah not it's like your fears it's like you're, you're facing them you're seeing the situation absolutely clearly you are it's like it's no longer a mystery you know what you need to do The unseen is no longer unseen. You see it. You see it. And you know why you see it? You see it because you're going within to see it. You're taking the time to see it. You're taking the time to see it. You know, it's like you're going against the rules, right? You're going against the traditional approach. It's like, yeah, you know. You know, you could be breaking up. This this could be a breakup. It could be a split. It could be a divorce. It's like you're breaking a commitment, okay? Somebody here is breaking a commitment of some sort. This 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 could be any kind of commitment. It's like you don't have faith in it anymore. And you just need to go your own way. I need to go my own way. And I feel, I mean, the hermit being the very first card, I think the decision, the decision has already been made to go your own way. And somebody's being left out. Somebody is being left to fend for themselves. And they may need to ask for help. Maybe you need to ask for help. Maybe you've been left out in the cold. I don't know. Somebody's being left out, you know, to fend for themselves. But 
because that's what you had to do, right? You can't you can't cheat yourself. You can't lie to yourself. You don't want to deceive yourself anymore. I think the truth is absolutely coming out. There's no doubt with the Seven of Swords reversed, the Moon reversed, and the Justice card. Some sort of truth has been revealed. And you are absolutely seeing things clearly. I'm rubbing my heart at this point. I haven't rubbed my heart in a long time. So I don't know why there's that coming from. But um, I have not rubbed my heart in weeks. So you guys are getting it. I have not done that. It's heart. It's heart-wrenching almost. It's like... Be careful. I mean, whoever whoever is in the way, there's somebody. It's like you can't hide it anymore. Like you can't hide. You can't hide the truth. You can't hide the reality of what is. The reality is here. It's real. It's real. Something is real. And you know that you need to go within to figure out what the next step is. You're seeing things clearly. There's no more deception. It's like the mask has been ripped off and you've got the power in your hands. And it's like you're the one delivering the truth or accepting the truth. A final decision is being made and somebody is being left behind. Yeah, you're moving. You're moving. You could be moving location. You're leave, you could be leaving some family behind, you know. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes when you need to really, you know, go through a spiritual awakening or you need to um, evolve, you got to let go of people that no longer serve you. And sometimes, yes, it is family. So this is turning away from family. Leaving people, but it is. This is moving or leaving or moving home, even moving something that you know where you lived. It's like your living circumstances are changing. Somebody could be moving out of your home, or somebody could be moving in your home. It's like your living circumstances are changing. A partnership is falling apart or not being accepted or. No more, put it that way. Yeah, and I think that you're making the stressful decision. It's painful, it's stressful to head out. You're headed out. It's like you're no longer going to block it because you left the swords there. You're not going to block the truth anymore. It's like, you know what? I'm leaving it behind. I'm leaving this pain behind. That's what's going on, Aries. You're leaving the pain behind. And you're headed out. You're headed in a new direction. You're not going to cheat yourself. I think that, you know, this is, there's a lot of difficulty. It's very difficult to communicate your truth. I think that you have, you may have a hard time doing it, but I think that you are setting some boundaries and that you need to set some boundaries and that you may be faced with some unexpected conflict as you are speaking this truth. But I think that you are doing the right thing. I think that you are doing the right thing and I think that you're going to get something good out of it because when you act with integrity you get good karma okay so I think that you may have been lied to you may have been cheated by another person maybe even robbed I don't know somebody lied to you but there's it's like you see it you see it you see it completely clearly now the truth has been revealed whether it's been revealed via your intuition or revealed from another person or from God or whatever the truth is is here it's out you see it you know it and you're leaving it but you're leaving this unstable insecure uh unprosperous situation behind it's like there's there's not no reason for me to stay here yeah it's like you're defending yourself you're you are fighting for what you deserve fighting for what you deserve you know, there could be some sort of argument that sparks this, okay? There could be some sort of fight, some sort of dramatic situation that makes you finally decide. This is finally decide. Something makes you finally decide, you know, I don't want to fight anymore. 
I want peace. I want serenity. I'm a graceful human being. And I have the courage and the confidence to stand up for myself. So I feel like you guys are finding the strength to persevere through something pretty difficult. And it's like, I want my vitality back. And you're finding the strength to bring it back, to take it back, to take back your power. And you're replacing fear with faith. I don't know where that came from. And you're giving up on a situation that has no more growth. It's like you've been weighed down for too long. And it's like you're finding the strength and the courage to just turn your back on the situation. I think you're moving. Some of you are literally moving away, especially moving away from a commitment or a partnership that is no longer fruitful. There's no longer, for, there's no fertility there. There's too much bickering. There's too much fighting. There's too much uh, back and forth. It's like, I don't even need this drama in my life. Yeah, it's like, I don't need to be manipulated. I don't need to be lied to. And I don't need to be staying in a situation where there's so much control. You know, you don't want to be controlled. You don't want to be manipulated. I think you're dealing with a very cunning individual who has pretty much stole your power, stole your grace. It's like you've been deceived. You've been, you have. With the Seven of Swords reversed, the Moon whether it's reversed or upright, and the you have been deceived by somebody. Somebody who is so tricky. And you see it now. You see it completely clearly. And it's like, you know what? I want more. I want more. I want more. I want emotional fulfillment. And I'm going to go bring my heart someplace else <laughs> because you just can't delay it anymore I think this 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 could be a sudden decision like I said there could be some sort of dramatic situation that makes you decide that it is time to go it could happen suddenly suddenly you're suddenly seeing the truth and it's like you know what I'm gone I'm gone I think that you guys may have stayed in a situation because it was safe and you didn't want to face the unknown, but you're at that point where the unknown looks better than safety. I'd rather face the unknown than be right here. And I think that you are, will probably suddenly decide that this mundane life, this, this unfertile place that I've been in, is not serving me. It's not. And I think it's going to be suddenly, it's going to be a sudden decision to offer your heart, offer your love in a different direction. I'm going someplace else. It's like, I'm going to smell the roses. <laughs> He's smelling the roses. I want to smell the roses. I don't just want to hold the roses. I want to smell the roses. I want love. I want love. I want wish fulfillment. I'm going to follow my dreams to happiness. So I feel like you guys are making a final decision to move on from a partnership that is not really, there's no faith in it, okay? And you've been deceived. You have been deceived, and I think you know it. I think you see it. And look at the, i got to show you what's on the bottom. You're moving on, and you're flying high. You're flying. 
You're headed right towards the light. You're headed right towards the warmth. You're headed right towards the sun. Happiness. It's like you're taking the reins. You're in the lead. You're raising your vibration. It's like I have to go. Transformation. Remember I said you're replacing fear with faith? This I didn't see this card, I swear to God. You're replacing fear with faith and you're taking that ride. You're packing up and you're leaving. And you're headed in the right direction. Don't look back. Because wherever you're traveling to leads to good health. It leads to success. It leads to um, peace. Congratulations. I mean, I'm speechless. I am speechless because you guys are making the right decision, whatever it is. I see you guys knowing what you need to do and headed right towards a major life transformation. Where you're the king. You're the king of the road. No longer being manipulated. You're in charge. You're the boss. I think it's going to be sudden. There's going to be a sudden decision, a final, a sudden, a sudden decision to just go. Go. You can't take all those. There's too many. One card, please. And I think you're going to be leaving something behind. And that's what you need to do. Because it's going to lead you right to wish fulfillment. Extreme happiness. You notice these two people. There's like going to be a reunion. You know, this is a celebration where two people to come together. It's like people are going to be happy to see you. They're going to be happy to see you happy. That's what people want. People want you to be happy. Far away places. It don't get any better than that. I tell you what. You know how they work with me and the other tarot readers here. I mean, it is what it is, right? They work with us. They do. I got to just show you what's on the bottom, too. Just, I'm not going to read this card, but I'm going to show it to you. Protected by angels. They, you are cherished by the angels. Absolutely, you are. Don't forget it. Anyway, we're going to read this one. You're traveling. You're traveling to a new destination, and I am so glad. I am. It's what you deserve. It's what you need. It's like a whole new life when you get there. People are going to support you. Trust me, they are. They are. Anyway. Get ready for new horizons. Stop playing it safe funny get ready for new horizons and change in your life a journey is coming it might be to foreign lands or faraway places or it may be an inner shift that changes your destiny it's all beneficial beneficial sometimes we can feel wobbled when we are not in our normal surroundings however you are safe and protected good fortune ensues it's funny because the ain't I told you you're safe and protected Follow your dreams. Just go. Just go. Just go. Part of the glory of travel is stepping, stepping out of old habits, routines, and the repetitiveness of everyday, everyday life. It can feel daunting. Yet in no small way your life... Yet in no small way your life is a spiritual voyage. Change is coming. 
things are not as they seem. Boy, they're just rewording. I mean, they're basically saying what I said. Things are not as they seem. There are no wrong turns. Every adventure and misadventure is part of the course. You are on a pilgrimage of the soul. Keep your metaphorical bag packed. Unbelievable. And I'm reading this card. Not this one. That's crazy. It really is. Some unexpected experiences are ahead. Be ready for anything. The joy of travel is that you can begin. To, I can't even believe this shit. The joy of travel is that you be, can begin to experience the everyday as if you are seeing it for the first time. Nothing should be taken for granted. Be prepared for extreme happiness. Don't look back. Good luck.